This is Call of Duty World War II, and well, it's actually a pretty good game, but the thing is, it's broken. Well, the servers are broken. I think we need to talk about this. G'day guys, I'm Champ Chong. As, as you can tell, it says Champ Chong on, on my helmet, yeah. But anyway, this is Call of Duty World War II. Probably the best Call of Duty game made in the last few years. However, since its launch almost two weeks ago, the servers have been a complete mess. Now, this wouldn't be such a huge issue, but the thing is, this game is primarily played online. And the thing is, Activision are a multi-billion dollar corporation, and they still haven't figured this thing out. Seriously, this game came out on November 2nd. That's almost two weeks ago. And on top of that, it had a public beta beforehand to test things out. How didn't they see this coming and how haven't they resolved it yet? It doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm actually a really big fan of this game. I really am. Especially compared to the last few Call of Duty games that have come out, this, this is amazing. This game brings back those feelings since it's the first Call of Duty to go back to 1944 and that World War setting. But the thing is, the servers feel like they've actually gone back to 1944 and that's the experience we're getting. Come on, like even EA who are known for their awful, awful, awful servers at times are somehow keeping Star Wars Battlefront 2 online. Well, maybe it helps that they're ripping cash straight out of your wallet with those amazing microtransactions in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a whole nother video in itself, which I might get to, maybe, maybe. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a whole video on that subject. Yeah, also smack the like button if you're enjoying this so far, because it's just getting started. But anyway, back to COD. This, this is honestly the first Call of Duty game in years, in my opinion, that I've really, really enjoyed, truly. However, I still just don't understand how it's been almost two weeks since the game launched and we're still having these server issues. It's, it's seriously ridiculous. Even though it's a good game, these server issues are pissing off true loyal fans of the franchise. I have a couple of mates who play these games every single year. They're massive Call of Duty fans. They truly wear Call of Duty on their sleeve. Like, they are true, true loyal fans. They've been playing since, like, COD 2. However, now with Call of Duty World War 2, they're kind of going, ah, oh, we don't know if we want to play this anymore. They sat through Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, all those crappy Warfare bullcrap games that were just flying and jumping around the place. They sat through those games but now now with Call of Duty World War 2 guess what they're calling this game they're calling it Call of Duty Disconnection Warfare that's legitimately what they've called it and they're not playing it anymore because they keep disconnecting all the time they can't even string together like three games without some sort of server issue interrupting their experience and well speaking of experiences this is kind of their experience So yeah, that was clearly a stupid, over-the-top, ridiculous skit. However, it pretty much sums up their, their whole experience with Call of Duty Disconnection Warfare, aka Call of Duty World War II. Now, there is actually some good news to all of this. Um, Sledgehammer, who are the developers behind the game, they have actually been working their asses off and fixing this. They are keeping the community involved with every step that they do, which is really amazing. One thing I will point out is that they had the dedicated servers, then they switched them to peer-to-peer, -peer, and I think now they are back to dedicated. I don't know, it just keeps switching around, it's ridiculous. 
Now I'm pretty sure that the dedicated servers are back on the PS4. I'm not sure about Xbox One or PC right now, but they are on PS4 at the time of recording this video. And I just want to point out that even though there has been a patch and the dedicated servers are back, people are still reporting issues. So I don't know what's going on. But what I do know about what's going on is that one of my mates actually bought the game yesterday and he was like, you know what, I'll hold off. He saw all the issues that the game was having with the servers and he held off. Now it's been like 10 or 11 days or something and they're still having the issues even after he bought the game so late. But there is a silver lining to his story because he managed to buy the game on sale from someone else pre-owned for like $25 because the person sold it since they couldn't handle these server disconnections all the damn time. So good on my mate for getting a really good bargain, but he's, he's just stuck playing the single player right now, which is actually a good campaign. And speaking of the campaign, the game's campaign is pretty decent. It's nothing spectacular. It does do a lot of cliche stuff in there, as a lot of cliches, but that's what we all live for with these World War II games. We want to see D-Day, we want to see all that stuff. We truly love that cliche environment that the World War games do bring, but then again, it could have been a lot better and the gameplay wasn't the best. It felt like you were just progressing each level. It wasn't like you were really going through and doing things on your own. It felt like you were on rails the most of the time. And yeah, I know it's a Call of Duty game, but come on devs, like truly do something exceptional with the game if you've got three plus years is now to develop. But but I'm not going to bag on that too much. The, the story was still fun and it was cool to have all that in there. Oh, and I do want to also mention Zombies is in the game. Personally, I haven't played it, but my friends have played it. They said it's good. For some reason, I still haven't tried it. Don't know why. Maybe it's because I have some stupid blind loyalty to Treyarch and their zombie experience, but I don't know. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. But I do have one final message and it's for the guys over at Activision. If you are watching this, which you might be watching this because maybe just maybe the clickbait got you. Please just listen to my message, Activision. I just want to say, well done on funding three different development teams. You've got Treyarch, you've got Infinity Ward, and you've got Sledgehammer Games, all making great Call of Duty games. And this last one, World War II, is probably the best game of them all in the past few years. However, I just want to say one thing. If you guys at Activision can fund three separate studios to make three separate Call of Duty games, and one coming out every single year, Please find the money and fund some better servers and figure this damn thing out or else your community is going to be out.